Hello guys. Today we will talk on the, the same the previous video. Uh, about the bad voice in that particular video. So I'm trying to do it again, but this time with a little bit uh, more uh, content here. Like uh, we will create this in another version of Firebase that is called uh, Optimize for Report Server. So we will create it. Uh, the project timeline gun chart here in this particular version and deploy on to on-premise report server okay so this is what the data source I have this particular file so I just use this one okay and then once you load this now we will we'll check the data here let's go to edit query and this is a January 2020 version just for information. Now I don't want this. Just remove this fields that is not required. Okay. Okay. So what I have left is uh, task name, responsible person, start date, finish date, duration, and status. That's our data. Now. First of all, we need to add that gun chart visual from the marketplace. Oh, mm -hmm. what to do? What to do here? Hello, guys. So, from this particular website. Like you just Google for gun chart uh, with uh, search tags like Microsoft and you will uh, land it here and you will download okay the visual and also another visual is like a gun chart for Mac but we will focus on this one okay that's I have already downloaded now I don't need to log in and uh, from here we will import the file so we have this Okay, so now it is available here for us. Okay, so now we will take this branch cut. Quickly, okay, we, we will try to finish this very quick, okay. So just stay focused. Okay, start with the start date here. And second, uh, take a task in the task field. And then uh, we have status in the legends. Oh, parent we say. And then we have duration. Status, okay, status, uh, keep that in legend because I want this way. So this is how uh, you can check quickly around this one. Then uh, on top we will add some images here. So we'll have uh, icons here that I want to use. Let's add our icon quickly. And then let's enable, you know, snap. Good lines, snap grid. Okay. And then uh, quickly go to this particular title. Here is on project timeline. Let's give it this. And you have white. Blue. Okay. And then if you want to add something, you can go and add. So this is how we can quickly build something. So Let's uh, 
percent ten part two. Okay, so this this report is representing one project timeline. It's having uh, this as a task. Then you will have the complete in progress. These are the statuses. And then uh, even you can uh, go and change this status color or days off or days on. You can see how many days are off. Legend is there. Then you have milestones. Then task settings. Date type. So in date type, you can uh, here. Here you can so it is changing this way. Year, water, then month and week. Let's keep a day if you want. So it will be a big chart here. And if you keep uh, weeks, so this is how it will represent. So this is the one kind chart we work on and let's quickly check another one. I have doubt like how good it is. I never used that one. We will use it quickly. So if it is complicated, we will not go for that. It's asking for KPI, data label and start. Let's check it, start task name that's what the category is and the status so legend please select a field that is already present in category oh. so we don't have that okay Start is again the problem. Earlier start, we don't know what is that. So it's date or not. Data label, KPI, tooltip. Oh, it's not that cool. Mm -hmm. Hang on, we need to do some investigation here. Label now, okay. So, this is something we need to explore. So, sorry, guys, this I have to create a separate video on this one. Oh, sometimes it's very hard to remove them. Okay, so this is what we have for now. Now, we will try to uh, publish this one. Okay, this report. And for that, I need to this probably report. I need to go here, and then so one of my video I have explained how to set up and configure the whole on-premises probably report server. So you can try that one. create one folder mm -hmm. what's the problem oh took time Okay, but I have loaded it. We'll see. Complete. So let's move it to dev folder. So this way you can move, like I want to move it to dev folder. I don't want this folder. Just delete this one, delete. <coughs> and then uh, this is the 10 part B. <coughs> okay, in this, uh, I will give you one more beautiful thing that Power BI is offering. Uh, that is called query string parameter. A 
okay uh, for example you want to share this report with your folks and you don't want to show this additional part like uh, home and file so one two three four first four uh, tabs or whatever you call menu that will be disappear by writing this question mark and then say rs colon m paid equals to so we are sending a parameter to report server that uh, we want to see this report as a html embedded page so you can see how you can visualize this thing right okay so in this case uh, you can also export data here okay and you can take a screenshot you can share this screen uh, this particular url within your organization and they can use it quickly and if you compare with let's make it load So let's click it again and see uh, how different it is. And now you will lose these options that might be uh, helpful for you guys. Like if you in different uh, size, again, there are a few things that you can pass, you know, fit to weight and other things, actual size as a part of parameter. And so I don't want to add it. Then you have explore, refresh. And for refreshing and all, you need to set up a gateway. That uh, separate video I will create on that. So for now, this is what we have. And one more thing what you can do is you can hide uh, if something you have additional part, you can go and say hide, save it. Then uh, again, you can upload. So this time it will override the face, same file and it will ask override, say yes. Okay, and here we will refresh, we'll see. So what we did is actually we just hide a page on the report that is available when you see in the Power BI desktop. So now it is gone. So that is something uh, you can use. So quickly summarize this video here. Uh, we how we will use the Gantt chart and uh, how you can represent your project timeline, programs, or tasks uh, using this particular visual, and uh, how you can publish this particular report to on-prem Power BI report server and also how you will use the rs embed equals to true this particular parameter we can call it like report server parameter that you can effectively use to uh, show this report as a part of uh, you know kind of html page or uh, embed it within your uh, particular page and uh, just hide out this additional information if you don't want to share with your uh, users so this is it for this video please do like share and subscribe please 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 subscribe my channel this will motivate me to create more and more uh, this kind of videos stay safe stay healthy stay home goodbye